there for almost, I mean, literally almost 50 yep. years. One of the first times he's not been here at the All-Star Race, Rob Park was on the phone with him before these finals started. The first call that he made said, Darrell, we're in the finals, we're in the lead, <laughs> we got a good chance. That's so neat. That is neat. Uh, and Robbie's done a great job carrying the torch in Division 5. And, uh, you know, they're, they're looking pretty strong. This may very well settle the team score. This is Division 5. Justin Jenkins going up against Division 1. Joe Santangelo. The Nebraska runner on the left side, the Connecticut runner on the right. And again, Jackie, one of the nice things about this all-star competition, great race car drivers who have probably never been on the same track together. No, that's uh, that's that's definitely true. Uh, you know, Justin, a top 10 finisher in the national standings last year. Joe Santangelo, winner earlier this year. Yep. So uh, this is going to be a great final. Yeah, very good race car drivers right here. And there's a big head start. This class at 1032 against a 977. A little better advantage out of the gate for the Chevrolet Camaro. Watch that big speed car. Close it in on the coat off the strike, and it's going to be a win for Joe Santangelo, one of the great <laughs> race car drivers in another second-generation race here, gets the win. He's having a career year. No question about it. I've got to know him a little bit this year, and uh, you know his, his enthusiasm and uh, desire for this sport is fantastic. Check this out. How can they keep the cars going straight when they're looking over like this? These are trained uh -huh. professionals. Don't try this at home. That's right. Don't try that at home. If I find out that he's texting, I'm really going to be upset. And when you turn your head, don't turn the wheel the opposite way, right? There's a great book called The Art of Racing in the Rain. And if you read, it says the eyes go, the car goes where the eyes go, correct? That's it. A great final here. That big speed car, look at that, right at the end of the racetrack. One hundredth of a second, the margin of victory. And if you're scoring at home, Division 5 now has 1,300. Division 1, 1,200. Still 100 points separating as we check in at the far and again with Lauren. Mark Fall, what did it take for you to get to the finals here in Chicago in your stock car this weekend at the Jags All-Star? Well, I had to race against some really tough competitors and just had some good luck, and things turned out my way. A lot of times it's not luck, is it? It's actually skill. Well, sometimes, yes, but sometimes you need a couple pieces to fall into place. Well, congratulations. It looks like they did all fall into place this weekend here in Chicago. You don't attain the level of success that Mark did by getting lucky, do you, Jake? No, absolutely yeah! not. Uh, Mark's another one of those uh, seasoned sportsman racers that have uh, won just about everything there is to win. Uh, great win for him. Keith Raftery represents Division Four. This is our top sportsman final. In the other lane, another Division Five finalist, Josh Vettel. Can they get that 100 points back right here? You love this race class, don't you? Added this year with the top drags. So thanks That's to right. you guys. Bunch of racers get to come here for the first time. Yep. Fun class. Top sportsmen and top drags for the next class we'll see uh, are new to the Jags All-Stars this year and um, fairly new to the NHRA. So, uh, you know, it's the first time we'll see them on TV, and I think they're going to give us a great show. Josh has a 588 cubic game change in his car, as we call it in this pair, the small block. Yeah, a lot of these guys run, uh, run a little bit of nitrous oxide, too, to help them uh, obtain those ETs and speeds that they're looking for. Josh has been driving extremely well today, as Keith has. Both of them got a great green light start. Keith got a really good start. Oh, he's popping and banging. Give that one to Keith Raftery. Division four <laughs> kept Division five from getting more points. That. Yeah, that was popping and banging there. Was that the nitrous or yeah, what? I don't, I don't know what was going on. I'm not uh, very uh, seasoned myself with nitrous. I don't know if they were just uh, coming in stages there or if it was just coming off the nitrous. So no, for stages, he had about nine of them. Yeah, exactly. I saw that. Uh, I thought he might have been in trouble there, but uh, we mentioned the semifinals. Keith may have been the one guy that came in as a prohibitive favorite based on what he's done in this class over the last couple of years. Yeah, he's been very successful and uh, in a great win for him. Congrats. Let's go down to the far and again with Lauren. Joe Santangelo, I think you're so tired from this long day that you can hardly get excited, but Jags is clearly one of your sponsors. How excited are you to win this $6,000 here in Chicago? Extremely honored. I've been part of Team Jags for uh, just a few months now. Um, just such an honor to be here with all these tough drivers from all over the country. Um, Jags treats us like celebrities this whole weekend. It's just so cool to be here. Uh, Justin Jags is a tough driver, Division 5. Um, I got to thank, uh, like I said, Jags, John Coffin, the Jags, uh, Carl Robinson, Mickey Thompson tires, uh, Peter Biondo, Sal Biondo, uh, Sam Biondo, Richie Schreiner at uh, Biondo Racing, uh, Phil Monte, Donnie Martell, Speedco, uh, girlfriend Crystal, Bob Cup, Sal Piacentini, my new friend Lauren. 
Now you are a celebrity. You're on TV. Congratulations. <laughs> Dave, he thanked everybody but you. Well, and, and, and Jake. Well, no, he did thank yes, Jake. Yes, he did. He's wearing his name. Here Goodness. we go. The top drags are Division fantastic. 5 champion over there in the right lane against the certifiably hot Ray Miller. Is there a better kid right now in the class than this guy? And uh, Ray Ray, as they call him, has been fantastic. You know, he was an entry in uh, Super Comp as well and uh, broke first round, so I'm sure they're going to have a tough run here. He's got a couple hunters in the bank going off the starting line. He'll work the throttle, come to the finish line. Wow. Ray Ray does it. 680 takes the win, stops Division 5 once again. Wow. This is getting tight. Yeah, the Division 1 guys all of a sudden have new life, and Ray Miller with a 6.80. Talked about a guy having a career year. Yeah, he has finish. just been put in national events. His dad, they built a lot of their own race cars. They've done such a marvelous yep. job, and this is just a great start to the season for that kid. Watch for him at the Lucas Oil Awards Banquet at the end of the season. Top dragster, a category that you have won, Jackie. As we're checking down at the far end. That's cool. right. Keith Raftery, this is the first year top sportsman has been in the Jags All-Star competition, and you won it. What does this mean to you? It means a lot. I mean, this was great. It was a great event. Um, the track was good. Um, all the Jags people put on a great show, and uh, I'm just honored to be here. Definitely worth all the work, isn't it? Oh, definitely, 100%. Bruno Massel is the champ in this division from a year ago. He represents Division 5, but he can't earn points. He can try to stop Division 1's Frank Aragona here, though. This is huge yep. because Frankie Aragona running for Division 1, and he's going to get a huge head start. Bruno, the defending event champ, the defending Lucas Oil champ. Yep. If he gets this thing off the starting line, if it's a green light, I mean, Bruno can run that little four-cylinder all the way down to Bloomington. <laughs> he could. Uh, he's typically very, very fast. Uh, as mentioned, Frank Aragona lost 10 on a CIC in the first round stayed clean in the second round. So he's uh, minus 10 going into the final, and uh, Bruno, I think, only lost three or four. It's more of that hardcore shop talk. What it means yeah. right here is that Bruno may have a little bit of advantage here based on the performance of these two cars thus Stays far here up. in the All-Star race. Oh, man, Bruno dead laid out of the starting gate. Just maybe could be over. Watch that onboard camera. Close oh, it. He took a lot of ground. Oh, baby. 7-10 for Bruno Massel. Frankie goes 8-22. Bruno Massel's reaction time, an uncharacteristic 175. That is not usually good enough to get a win, but right here, as we said, he's going to run that baby all the way out of the end of the race track, and he did just that. Ate up that ground in a hurry. I Jackie. think you're right. You know, look at this uh, ride on board with Bruno. You see Frankie way out front, and then all of a sudden, he just makes a real hard move on him and, and uh, gets the finish line first. Well, he passed me like the guy in the interstate coming in this morning. Let's get down to, to Lauren. Ray, you just came out and won top dragster here in Chicago. Now, you said you're let, your dad sits out and lets you drive the Super Comp and the top dragster. How exciting is this win for you and your dad? Uh, it's amazing. Every, he, it's a real big deal, a uh, big accomplishment. Um, i got to thank him a lot. He helps me out with all this stuff. The racing, dialing the cars in, he, he does a lot for me. And it's a, definitely a big accomplishment for both of us. You know, it's a, And it helps business out a lot, too, with the Miller race cars and stuff. So it's a pretty cool deal. I have a good feeling about this guy at just 20 years old. 